Good morning, YouTube family. This is to give glory. Today is Monday, March the 7th, 2011. Hello, everybody. This is my uh, weight loss, my weekly um, journey update. And I want to warn y'all, if y'all are real busy, this is going to be a long video, you guys, because I have to talk to you guys. I got to express some things, and I got to get some love from y'all and stuff like that. So this is going to be pretty lengthy here. Yeah, because I want to tell y'all everything yeah okay so y'all know the last what two or three weeks i've been at the same weight um which is 226.6 um and first of y'all excuse my hair because i just finished working out y'all and my hair like soaking wet so them extra i do for sister they mess your hair up have y'all dried out and stuff like that i'm telling y'all oh my hair be soaking wet like i've been just oh like i've been swimming and i can't even swim <laughs> But anyway, so y'all excuse that. I'm like a little cute boy up here. Mm, mm. <laughs> but um, anyway, the last couple of weeks, I've been at a steady, when I say 226.6, nothing more, nothing less. Yeah. So um, I weighed myself Saturday. I was 227. I'm like, what is going on? Then I weighed myself this morning. It had 228. I said, what the devil? <laughs> but anyway, you guys. Um, So... Actually, I just don't know what's going on. I remember when I first started losing weight when I was 360 pounds, you guys. I, I got at a standpoint like this, too. I mean, just stuck. I mean, stuck for one and two months. You know, but I steady kept exercising. Then all of a sudden, I was pregnant with twins. Yeah. So my husband asked me this morning when he got home and I was exercising. And I was telling him, you know, about, you know, the scale with the head on. He's talking about 228. He's what is going on? I said, I don't know. He said, Lord, he said, you pregnant. I said, I don't know. <laughs> you know, even though, even like last time when I got pregnant, you know, I, I was still having a menstrual. That was a weird thing about it, you know. But, you know, it's God's will, whatever he says. So I'm going to check myself tomorrow morning to make sure that's not the point. Because <laughs> I want to reach my goal way first. I want to get down 180 before I have another baby. I want to get to 180 before I have another baby. <laughs> but anyway. But whatever that good man upstairs say, the Lord Jesus Christ is his will, y'all. But, um, and I want to just talk to y'all. It's been very discouraging these last, uh, what, two, three weeks with my weight doing what it's doing. I don't want to say discouraging. Discouraging. I mean, eh, I'm like, Lord, what is going on? But the thing is, even though I have been, you know, a little discouraged and everything, my husband, he's been, it's going to be okay. You know, you gaining muscle and, you know, you had a plateau. I'm like, yeah, I said, but... It really, I mean, I know a lot of y'all can relate to this. It really frustrates me knowing that I'm working so hard, you guys, doing an hour worth of exercise, you know, every single day. You know, think about all the things I could be doing in that hour. <laughs> you know, because like that hour, especially when you're doing something strenuous, like the hour takes a heal. But I'm like, I could have been doing this, 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 this. You know, by the time I reach the end of the week, I'm like, I could have did this, 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 this whole week, but now I exercise. I ate right. I ate good, you know. But I said, you know what? I said, it's going to pay off at the end. I said, I just have to keep pushing myself. I have to keep going regardless if that scale is moving up or moving down. But y'all know my saying, you know, down, not up. Down, down, not up. Say what? And that's going to be my saying regardless. It's going to be my saying regardless because, you know, like the Bible say, you know, Whatever we speak, that's what we're going to get. So if you speak negative, that's what you're going to get. You speak positive, that's what you're going to get. So I'm going to keep being positive regardless. But I'm serious. I was so discouraged. I told my husband the other day, I said, you know what? I quit. He said, you quit. I said, I quit. I said, just give me a box of Dove chocolate candy and some ice cream. And give me some soda water and let me sit up here and just enjoy myself. He told me, yeah, right. I said, I know it. <laughs> I said, I don't even want that. I'm just sitting up here upset. But, you know, it, it has. It really been discouraged. But I keep telling myself, I said, you know what? And my real name to all my YouTube love family, I know y'all know my real name. And it's been how many months? <laughs> my real name is Javon, you guys. So I'm like, and they call me Shell. But anyway, I'm like, Shell, I said, you have come too far to turn around now. I said, you in this thing now. You in it to win it. So you might as well keep going, regardless of what that scale say, regardless of what's going on with this body. Keep going, because after a while... I'm going to break through this plateau. I'm going to break through whatever this is. I'm going to bust up out of it. And I'm going to be glad. I kept going. I kept going. And look at me now. 
I'm so fine. I'm so sexy. <laughs> but you know, I'm serious, you guys. You know I'm acting silly. I had to talk to myself this weekend. I said, no, ma'am. I said, no, ma'am, sister gal. You ain't finna quit. You ain't finna stop. You gonna keep eating healthy like you're doing. You gonna keep exercising like you're doing. And you know, so I'm like, okay, you guys, I gotta, you know, change up some stuff, you know, because I, I come to realize I'm active. Even when I was 360 pounds, I was active. I was acting like I was on 120 pounds when I was 360. <laughs> and I'm still like that now. I just have a lot of energy, you guys. I'm just energetic, and I've always been like that. I mean, I got out there and run when I was that big and still run now. You would think, okay, that girl carrying all that weight and she doing all that. I'm just so active. You know, and I was thinking, I said, okay, I got Turbo Jams. I got tur Turbo Fire. I have um, Billy Blanks. And I was just sitting here realizing this morning, I said to me, all that is basically the same kind of routine. So, even though I thought I was changing up my exercises, you know, changing activities, that's basically the same type of cardio I was doing. Turbo Jams, Turbo Fire, um, Tybo with Billy Blanks, all that's basically the same kind of routine. So, I'm like, okay, my body is used to that. So, I've been doing a lot of research. I'm like, okay, what is the weight loss plateau? What causes it? You know, and you hear lots of things on, you know, weight plateaus and stuff like that and what causes, causes it. But I was reading different ones, and basically what really made sense to me, they say, like, when you start losing weight, when you first start losing weight, you start cutting calories. You know, your body's not used to that, so it's like you're dropping that weight. You're dropping that weight. It's dropping. You know, that's what happened to me when I started back September 27, you know, 2010. When I started with the Plus More in the Making Challenge. I mean, it was dropping every week. I'm like, hey. You know, I'm thinking it's going to keep dropping. It's going to keep dropping. It's going to keep dropping until I get to my goal. Mm -mm, that don't work. <laughs> because after a while, your body gets used to the, what you're doing. So it almost like it's shut down in starvation mode. You know, it's like, okay. You know, I'm not getting all these calories like I used to get. You know, I'm not. You know, it's like your body get immune to what you're doing. Like they say, high antibiotics. If you take antibiotics for so long, your body get immune to it. Yeah. So I was thinking about them, like, okay, my body got immune to this system. Even though I was switching up my exercise, I was still doing the same type of performance in cardio. You know, so I said it's time to do something, you know, totally different. It's time to push up my in, my um, intensity. It's time for me to, you know, push more to, I guess, to give my body that stress and stuff like that it needs. And another thing I was thinking about, I said, you know what, I'm probably not getting enough calories, you know, with my body being so active, with me being so active. You know, I haven't really been, you know, eating, like, uh, for active body lifestyle. Because this week here, you guys, I'm kind of the idea of, you know, what I ate. This week here, um, i basically been eating, like, for breakfast. I eat oatmeal, sprinkle some raisins on top, a couple of nuts, and a half a banana. Then for lunch, I have, like, a salad. Then for dinner, I have a protein shake. Then I only have one snack out the day, like some almonds. And then, like, my next day, that morning I had a protein shake. Then I made me, like, a tuna wrap. And what it is, I get my tuna right out the can. I don't add any mayonnaise or nothing like that. I get the, um, wheat, um, whole wheat tortilla wraps. And I get, like, a half a teaspoon of light ranch dressing, spread it on there for my mayonnaise. Then I get the tuna right out the can, put it on there, and I give me some spinach leaves and put on there, some onions, some bell peppers, some peppers, some pickers. Pickers, <laughs> pickles and things like that. So, you know, that's not any calories. And then, and basically, I did a, a veggie wrap like that. I call it a turkey veggie wrap. When I got me the same tortilla uh, wheat wrap, and I got some turkey sausage and sautéed it with onions, bell pepper, garlic, um, spinach, um, tomatoes. And then I just wrapped it, put a teaspoon of um light salad dressing on it and ate it. See, I've been eating like that. So to me, I haven't really been, you know, getting a lot of um, calories. And then one day, me and my husband and kids, we took our children to um, Chick-fil-A. I ordered me a kid meal, which was two chicken strips, the smaller fries, and a zero Coke. You know, so I was thinking about that too. I said, okay, I'm, I might not be getting enough calories also along with, you know, I need some more, I need some more intensity for this body. I told my husband, I probably need to stress this body completely out, not killing myself, but you know, you know, do some intra, um, what you call it, intensity training, that introvert training, and stuff like that, you know, and then plus, I don't get enough rest, you know, for one thing, I work from 7.45 to, um, 5.30 to 6 in the evening, then I go to school, then, you know, I'm taking care of my household, I'm washing, cleaning, cooking, 
you know, take care of my babies, make sure I spend time with my husband, my family. I'm going to church. My husband, you know, he sings in a gospel group. We go to, you know, his program. So I don't get the, enough rest. I don't get eight hours of sleep, you guys. I get probably about four or five hours of sleep every night, and I'm not lying. <laughs> you know, because I have to do homework, and, you know, I have to go to different meetings for the type of business that I run. You know, so it's like, where's the rest? You know, then I'm pushing my body to a limit, you know, doing exercise and you know, stuff like that, you know, so it's like, my body, to me, probably stressed out, and then my main thing, I said, you know what, Lord, I said, I haven't been giving you the time like I need to either, I'm just going to confess y'all, I'm confessing, you know, because my mind been so focused on reaching my goal, you know, losing weight, you know, to it's just like, I really don't have anything, time for anything else, but do research on exercising, and going to school, and, you know, cooking, and keeping my house close, like I just sit the Lord to the side. I said, that could be a thing. You probably said, you know what? Since your mind's so focused on exercise, I'm going to cut it. I ain't letting you drop nothing. I ain't going to let that scale move. Make you seek me. <laughs> you know, and it's working. Yes, Lord, it's working. <laughs> so, you know, I said, you know what? I got to get myself, I got to give me a schedule. You know, I got to get back on schedule. I got to get back on cue. You know, along with my exercise and all the stuff I'm doing, I know in May, my school will be over, so I'm trying to push it then, to the end, you guys. I'm trying to push because I really get so frustrated, so discouraged because I got so much going on right now, you know. So, I said, what I'm going to have to start doing, I'm going to try to start giving me some rest, you guys. And I'm going to start trying to wake up like 5, 5, 30 in the morning, go ahead and get my exercise out the way. First, you know, read and pray, you know, spend some time with the Lord, do my exercise. Then get my kids up and get them ready for school and let my husband take them on to school. Then, you know, I work, do my work, whatever, from 7.45 to 5.30 to 6.00. You know, trying to get me a schedule going here. That's that's my main thing I'm going to start working on. Then also, I said I need to intensify this um, exercise. And I got to leave like the regular cardio alone. So I have to do something that's going to make this body burn, stress this body out. And I wanted P90X, but I can't afford that right now, you guys. So I was looking through Academy um, newspaper, and I found some called, um, here it is, let me see. It was 1999. It ain't P90X, but uh, it's going to do. Because I tell you, when I, 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 when I first did the first day of this um, exercise I'm going to show y'all, I'm like, oh, shoot, this ain't about nothing. So I did the second day, and they switch it up. You tell me somebody was so, I think I work muscles I didn't think I ain't had. <laughs> but anyway, it's called Get Ripped 90 Days. Um, it's called Supreme 90 Day System. And it comes with 10 DVDs. And it says, use muscle confusion to um, accelerate results. And this is how the box look. See here. And, um... It comes with, it's a chest and, ba um, chest and back, out, um, the ultimate ball, that's where you use it, you know, the big exercise ball. Um, it's called Tibet in Inferno, and that's the one i done today. You time out, ooh, like I told me up. I thought I was getting down, I'm like, yeah, after a while, I was like, no, no. <laughs> but um, then it got shoulders and arms, cardio challenge, legs, total body, core dynamics, back and biceps, chest, shoulder, and triceps. And so then you got like a bonus Supreme Heart Rock abs that you got to mail in for that. But um, I said I'm going to get it to try. It was $19.99 at Academy. And then I went online and did some research. I see people, you know, talking a lot about it. So if any of y'all YouTubers got this here, can y'all tell me, you know, if y'all didn't, you know, have y'all done it and what it did for y'all. See here. And see, this is the back of it. But... I started that, so I said I'm going to work on that, you know, I need something to push this body out, because I, I can't give up, and I won't, even though I feel like it, I can't, I can't give up, y'all, and then I said along with that, I'm going to be doing the, um, my Eat Clean Diet, this is my book I pulled back out, I've been had it, the Eat Clean Diet, I said so I'm going to do that, oh, and it, this here, um, the 90 Day Supreme, it also came with a schedule, you know, for 90 days, then it came with a um a Supreme Nutrients book. And my girl on that book, y'all, she the one did the plan for the book, y'all. Yes, yeah, so I had to go pull out my book. So, um, I'm going a, I'm to a work on that. And I told myself, I'm going to do that and only that. And on some days, you know, I'm adding me some more cardio also, you know, if it's just 15 or 20 minutes. But I'm going to stick to this plan because I think, I was thinking about my girl, Raw Talk Radio. I was talking to her and, um, she was saying, well, Javon, you know, um, um, what is that? The turbo fire. She said, you know, it's a, 
it's a plan, it's a program. And you have to do the program in order to get the results you need. Because what I was doing, I probably, you know, I just was pulling DVDs out of Turbo Fire that I wanted to do just doing them, you know. <laughs> so or I get one of her DVDs and do it straight for a week. You know, like I was telling my husband this morning, my body's so used to moving. It's so used to cardio till it's just not responding to it no more. That's what I believe. You know, because I know my body and I know how active I am. I just say it's not responding. So I'm going to have to, you know, do something, you know, that my body going to respond to. And see, you know, with these exercises here, they do mostly weights. And I use, a, I lift 12s. So I said I'm going to keep doing that, you guys. And I'm going to see how it goes for this this program. I'm going to try my best to stick to this program here. And then just add in some cardios on some days or add in my cardio on my rest day. You know, but I have to do something. You know, I got to make this body do something. And I was looking, too. I said, you know, I am building muscles, you guys. I was looking at these thighs. I will show y'all, but y'all might fall out. Y'all be like, ooh, that good family quick. When I say my thighs bolt up, they bolt up. And see, my calves, I already had big old muscular calves. They, since school, you know. And then now, people tell me, ooh, girl, you got Popeye calves. Because I just have muscular calves. You know, it's just this section here in these arms. And I noticed, too, in my arms, you guys, even though I got all this right here, I'm still here hanging here. Y'all see that? It's like I'm getting muscles. See that? When I do my arm like this here, y'all see that? I'm getting muscles. Y'all see that? I'm getting muscles up in them arms. Even though I got all this tricep juicy meat, this juicy air that shake like that. <laughs> see, look at it. Watch me do my hands. See, I'm getting muscles in my arms. So I'm like, okay, okay, I'm doing some. It ain't all that bad. It ain't all that bad. You know, and I was looking at some thighs. I didn't build muscles in my thighs. When I face my thighs, I get like, oh my goodness. That's my phone ringing, y'all. My phone ringing. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay. There ain't nobody out. That's one of the marketing people. <laughs> but, um, you know, so I told myself, I'm going to keep, you know, keep going regardless. And you guys, guess what? It was time to make another phone. I got me an iPhone. I got an iPhone. But anyway, um, and also, I had loaded this app on here. Another thing I said I wanted to start doing was doing my calories. Because I don't write down my calories. I just kind of just eat healthy and estimate what I'm eating. I don't really write down my calories. So, um, I'm going to start doing that. To me, it's hard for me to write down my calories because the way I cook. You know, like Sunday. You know, I cooked some um, baked chicken. I had baked pork chops. I had fried chicken. I had homemade cornbread. I had corn on the cob. And I made me some chili beans. So, <laughs> I'm like, how do you get the calories out of chili beans because my chili beans it was made out of kidney beans the chili powder ground beef i cut up me some fresh garlic some fresh bell peppers fresh onions and i sauteed that with my meat and all and i put that over there in my beans and i seasoned it with all kind of herbs and stuff like that tell me how you find the calories in it <laughs> so i'm like lord how i'm gonna count my calories that's why it's so hard for me to count my calories because the way i cook i cook homemade you guys you know, so it's like, to me it's hard. You know, if I just go in and get a bag of salad or some celery or, you know, some out of can or, you know, it's kind of easy. But when I cook homemade stuff from scratch and stuff like that, it's kind of hard for me to come up with the calories, you know. So, especially when you mix it all together and then cook it. It's hard for me to get the calories out of a slice of cornbread and make homemade. You know, I use the wheat flour, baking soda, um, baking powder, sugar, um, cornmeal butter, eggs. So once I mix all it together and then bake it, how do you get the calories out of it? I just, I guess that's why I shouldn't eat it, huh? <laughs> but that's nothing I haven't been eating no bread. I don't think I had last week was those wraps, like I told you. That's about it. But anyway, back to my iPhone. I found this app. I said, I'm going to start trying to do my calorie intake, you guys. Um, It was a free app. It's called Lose It. And I love it. Let me show y'all. I was playing with it this morning. And, um, let me see what I get to it. And I kind of like it here. See here, kind of tell. I hope y'all can see that. Y'all see, I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna move this here, um, camera, y'all. So we moving the camera anyway. See here. Wait a minute. Yeah, excuse me. You know, I bad with your sister, but see here. And that's another thing. I finally I went on there and did some stuff to see what my calorie intake is. And they tell me my daily calorie budget is 1,655. So the day I had for breakfast, it was only 370. And then I burnt calories a day, which was 568. So my net calories so far is, you know, 198. So, um, mm-mm. Let me see what else. And see, you let you add. 
Add your food. Hold up. Uh oh. See here, and this is my my breakfast. But anyway, yeah, I kind of get them time back because I don't know what I'm doing no more. Mm, go back. Mm, let me cancel it out. But anyway, yeah, I get the point. Shucks. So it's, they're showing me right here I can eat 1,853 calories a day. Just because I burnt 568. And see. And I got right here, my goal is, hold up. My goal is 180 because I want to lose 2 pounds per week. So my daily calorie budget is 1,655. And so it kind of just, I, I like this. And it really kind of helped, helped me to get back excited. So. I said I was going to use it, but anyway, it show you everything. So it's March 7th. So, nope, that's wrong. Yeah, I bailed me because it's an iPhone. But see, it show you all this kind of stuff here. I don't know about no iPhone. I don't even know why I got it. I don't think I know I need your phone. <laughs> and everybody was telling me about the iPhone. I'm still trying to figure this thing out. Yeah, I see that. But anyway, I'm just add exercise and all that good stuff. But anyway, I like it. And, hold on, let me go back. And that's it right there. That's the app right there. See that? Lose it. And I got another. I haven't tried the rest of these. But I've been playing with this one here and I like it. So, let me try to set my camera back up here right, y'all. But anyway, that's it, you guys. I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going to keep going. And also, um, let me see. See, right now I've been losing weight naturally. And it's a guy told me about this Oxy. I think it's Ox Elite Pro. And I really don't want to start taking anything. I really don't. Because I've been doing this natural. Even I had vitamins when I first started. I've now only vitamins I'm taking is that, um, um, what is it? For my stomach and stuff, I showed you. I can't think of the name of I lost track of that. But anyway, I really don't want to start taking nothing. So, but anyway, you guys, I just want to fill y'all in on that. And I'm going to, um, hold up. I'm going to have to cut the video and start over because it ain't going to let me load all this. So, hold on, y'all.